Well, if you ask Hoosiers what the 4th of July means to them, you'll get plenty of answers. As Kevin Rader explains for us, a fisher's man answered that question by pointing to his driveway. It's not at all unusual if you're driving around Fishers this weekend to see flags and bunting celebrating the 4th of July. But if you are particularly observant, you may also notice something etched in sidewalk chalk on Joe Spangler's driveway. It just started as a, a whim one year and has become an annual tradition since then. It even slopes a little to make it seem like a notebook inscription. Three hours on the hands and knees, and I'm feeling it in the thighs and the knees this morning for sure. Three hours every year for the last 10 years, this 67-year-old Hoosier etches the first few sentences of the Declaration of Independence on his driveway. As a history teacher, I get real upset with uh, revisionism and political correctness in each new decade or whatever as it focuses on something and says, uh, the, the founding fathers, the, the people who married America, were flawed. Yes, they were flawed. They lived 100 and 200 years ago. Uh, they're not going to be as politically correct as we are. We asked him to read it for us. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another. Then we asked the man wearing a let's party like a 1776 t-shirt why these words meant so much to him. As That's the out. beauty of Jefferson's work, that it is timeless, that it grows, that it changes. Put it together with Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, and they're probably the two most important documents. The Constitution's important, too, but that's, that's America to me. Then he continued. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Joe says most see him as an eccentric old neighbor, but he's proud of the founding fathers and the words they left us to live by. In Fishers, Kevin Rader, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.